everyone and welcome to episode 15 of the These Little Hands podcast. My name is Millicent and I'm coming to you from South Africa. This is a podcast about knitting and sewing and all other crafty things and today I'm going to be, do a little bit of a review for you so it's not a normal episode. I'm going to show you a bit of what I've been working on. I'm currently on holiday um, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because I've been organizing and doing all kinds of other things which is also good um, but then I will have a little bit of a slideshow just to show you what I've um, been doing this over the last year and um, yes before we go into that I want to say thank you for everybody who's been watching and who's made contact with me and who's been following me starting this podcast has given me such a great um, great exposure to people all over the world and it's such a positive community I know people always say that but I really feel that way and um, it's just been a blessing and I look forward to continuing as often as I can with this podcast okay so first off I'm going to share three finished objects with you in my previous video I showed you that I was planning to finish all my knitting projects and clean my needles before the end of the year but I didn't get nearly as much knitting time in as I thought I would so I am not even close to being done but I'll show you what I have done and I've decided that I'm still going to go with that plan and um, I'm only starting work on the 9th of January so I still have a little bit more than a week nine days and I'm still going to try and finish all of those whips that I showed you last time before then. The only one I completely finished was my um, my Marrakesh shawl and it's just come off the blocking mats. I just need to weave in the ends with it, which I'll do while this video is uploading but I really love how it turned out. It's really big. I blocked it quite aggressively so yes I am um, I haven't even tried it on yet but there we go I think it is so beautiful the color the light is quite bright today so the color it is a bit blown out but the pink is quite bright um, and all oh I followed the pattern exactly and then I realized that I won't have enough of the pink to finish the bind off so on the bind off I added in this greenish color but I did an Icelandic bind off so it creates a little bit of a pattern there so it actually looks quite nice and um, I really like it the yarn is so soft and after I've just blocked it it has really bloomed so I think um, this was very successful um, Yes, there's not much else I can say about it, except that I really like it and I suppose you can wear it both ways. I haven't played with it yet, but you can also wear it with the pink at the bottom if you don't want it to be at the top. Um, this is a really lovely lace pattern and I think this is definitely beginner friendly, um, this pattern. The lace pattern is just a two or three row repeat um, so it's quite simple and it gives a very nice effect um, and I really like this scalloped edging that it made and at the bottom as well so I'm very very happy with this so this one is finished so I think now I, I had six to go so now I have five to go um, then I really worked hard on finishing my barbie Barbican sweater by Martin Story and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I ran out of yarn I don't know at first I thought it was my math not being correct and then I ordered more and I still don't have enough so it's still unfortunately not done but I am in love with it so this is the top and it will have this rolled color there we go so I've already, you have to join this um, the shoulder seam here in order to knit the front. So I don't even have enough yarn to 
join the sides together so I just love it so much and then at first I thought I will have enough yarn if I used a yarn from my stash so I'm knitting the sleeves two at a time and can you see I literally have this little bit to go and I'm out of yarn but anyway I ordered more so it will be here but initially I thought I will have enough yarn if I just added in another skein so what I did is the bottom half of the sleeve is knit out of hard lamb, double knit in the, um, I think it's the Sutherland packs, and it has a silver Stelina in, I don't think you can see, but this is called the Howling North Wind, and then you can see there, I start striping in the other grey, and then it gradually goes over into the shipwreck colorway, which is the one that's knitted out of the main body. So this gray is a little bit more blue, and this one is a little bit more brown. But because this shipwreck colorway has blue specks in, I thought it would work. And I actually quite like it. Um, the full effect is quite nice, and I'm happy I could use that one skein. So... I just, I'm just waiting for one more skein of the shepherd colorway and then I'll finish this little top. It's literally not, I don't even think it's two centimeters. I think I have to knit five rows and then I would have been done. And then I'll put it all together so it will be done pretty soon. But yes, I'm in love with the sweater. So this one would have been done if I didn't have the yarn crisis. Okay, so that is my barbican sweater. And then the other one that I've made quite substantial progress on is my Shima Shima Shawl, the green one. And this is the one that never shows the color off nicely because it's much more green than it's showing up then. So when I showed you last time, I was somewhere here. So I knit all of that and I started on the last piece, attaching the last piece. So, this is quite a big shawl. If you are looking for a big shawl, this is, this is great because it's just got a stitch so it can block out very big and it's already going to be big when it's done. So, it has two sizes and I'm knitting the largest size, but I probably could have done the smaller size and it still would have been big. Because if I show you the wing, current wingspan, it's from here, this, so this is going to be the end, and then there it goes, and then over here it's still going to have this match. Um, so this this whole width here, oh, let me just show you, here to here, it's going to be added here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very big, but I really like it. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit bored because it's just plain knitting, plain knitting, plain knitting, but if I watch TV or do something else while I do this, it it flies. So those are the three that I've made, sorry, those are the three that I've made quite significant progress on. Um, the other three, my crisp sweater, the one with the bubbles that I showed last time, I finished it back but I haven't done anything else. Um, my windy scarf has had some love but only a little bit and I haven't even touched my Enya cardigan again so my plan is to finish these three and then to finish the other three and I have three new sweaters that I'm going to cast on at the same time when I finish these <laughs> maybe I won't cast on all three but I'm definitely gonna cast on two of the three so I think I'm gonna try not to have more than three projects on the needles at the moment there's not a shawl that I want to knit don't know why, that will change very quickly, but there's um, three sweaters that I really want and if I start now they will be done in time for winter next year here in the southern hemisphere, so yes. And then I have two finished sewing um, projects, I just, my sewing mojo has been a little bit missing until two days ago, so I haven't sewn anything, I had so many plans. The first one is Simplicity 1364 and I did view B. I don't know really know what's the difference between B and C, it's the same. 
but I had I got this fabric I really like the print so it's just really plain at the top it has vice binding around the armholes the sleeves are grown on and then the nice detail about it is it has the darts going down like that um, but the rest is just really plain with a little button at the back and I put another button there just for detail um, I really like it the only thing is after I sewed everything I don't know how I missed it I saw that the fabric was damaged it must have been like that and I didn't see even when I washed it I don't know how I missed it so I'm gonna soak it you see there's another one I'm gonna soak it and then see if it comes out if it doesn't Oh, I don't know what then, then we'll see, but yes, I really like it, and um, I was going to wear it tonight for New Year's, but I'm not going to anymore because it has that damaged edges, um, and then the other one I finished, I really love, so the pattern I used is this butterick pattern, which is one of my favorite top patterns, it's B6175, and I have made this top so I made view B and the difference between B and E is E has straight sleeves and the sleeves on this one is a little bit more fluted like that and then I decided it's too plain and I wanted to do a little bit of embroidery or something my cousin, who you've seen lots of photos of on the podcast, and my mother, both have a top from Zara that is, it's Czech, but it's blue and white, and then it has red embroidery on it. And I also wanted one, but they didn't have my size, so I've always been jealous. <laughs> and so I was inspired by that top. Their embroidery is a little bit different, but I decided to do these geometric roses on them. So... It's actually a, um, a pentagon. It's pentagon five. I'm sorry if it's not then the one that it's five. Um, the shape with two small ones, two little bit bigger ones, two bigger, 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 bigger. Um, and then, yes, I'm very happy with this one. So I'm probably going to wear this tonight. But this came out really well. I finished this yesterday and it was so much fun to do a bit of embroidery. I'm hoping to do more embroidery in the new year. And that is what I've been doing. So up next is going to be a slideshow of all the things I made this year. Sewing and knitting. Some of them was patterns. Some of them were project bags. I must say there were a few things like um, pillowcases and... Uh, project bags and so on that I gave away or whatever before I took a photo so not everything everything is included but I just wanted to um, share that with you and I will see you in the new year I have a lot of plans for the new year I'm hoping to put up an episode um, next week before I go back to work um, in a week's time and um, showing you all my finished knitting let's hope and to share with you my sewing plans because I'm participating in a few sew-alongs um, in the new year which I didn't do this year. Um, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's and I hope that 2017 will be a good year for all of you. Bye!